Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a quick swatch video for you guys. You know the glosses have been trending like for quite a while on Instagram and TikTok. So I picked these up from LA Girl. This product promises high shine and also transfer proof and is also long lasting. The very smooth non-drying formula is what it claims to be. It's also cruelty free and paraben free. So um, it retails for about like $6.95 on Nykaa which is I think a pretty affordable price. It retails for about like $6.90, $6.95 on Nykaa. So let's just quickly dive into the swatches. First let's just talk about the packaging. Just look at the gorgeous gorgeous packaging. I really like the way that they have this very beautiful gradient like from black to the pigment. So you know what shade you're picking up and it's a very good indicator of the shade. It's too sturdy and it feels like it's glass but I know it's plastic but it still gives that glass like feeling. Now let's see how this applies. In two shades, shade number 02 which is divine and shade number 05 which is adored. Oh so it comes with this petal like applicator. I really really love when glosses come with such applicators. They are very easy to use rather than if you carefully observe that it has a petal like tip to it. And that tip is very, very, you know, convenient to line your lips. This shade which I've removed is shade Divine. So I'm going to quickly swatch it. It's such a gorgeous pink color. Shade is shade number 05 which is called Adored. And this is again a purplish berry lip color. I really like the way how shiny it looks on my hand. I really can't wait to swatch it on my lips. So I'm going to swatch the shade number one which is Divine. Yes, it's called Divine. This like glided very smoothly onto my lip. Perfect for those days where you want that glossy lip but you don't want that stickiness onto your lip. It's super lightweight and they say that it's transfer proof. So I'm going to put it to test and I'm just going to let it like dry a bit and then just... Okay. So initially, yes, we had a little bit of transfer, but I'm just going to try to dab it more and see if it actually transfers. So there is a bit of transfer of this lip stain, even though it is super lightweight and really thought that it's going to dry up. But yes, there is a bit of transfer. So I think maybe it's the excess of the product, but I really don't think... And the stain has also like come out. The lip tint didn't stay much even though they say it's a glossy lip tint. But I can't see any glossiness onto my lips. But it's not that as glossy as you think it will be. But it still has that tint and it has a little subtle shine. But uh, I'm going to move on and try the second shade. So this is shade number 5 which is called Adored. And again, this is a very deep berry shade. It's almost like purplish, I would say, between a berry color and purple because um, this is the way it looks on me. And again, with this particular shade as well, it does transfer. So it's not as glossy as I thought it would be. It is a long lasting stain. So yes, the stain will last on your lips for a longer period of time, but it's not going to give you that glossy finish. I think that the stain is impressive but uh, the only downside of this is that it, it's not as glossy as the way they claim it to be a glossy stain. In comparison to this, I think the e.l.f. Beauty's uh, lip gloss stain is much better. I think it's called the e.l.f. Beauty's glossy lip stain. That would be a better option because when it comes to the price, both of them are priced at the same price range. The e.l.f. gloss is at around $6.90 and this is for $6.95. So uh, you can obviously choose according to your preference. If you found this review helpful, do give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also push the bell icon below so you guys know when I have posted a video. So hope you guys like this video and enjoyed it. And if you guys want me to try any product or review any product, do let me know in the comments below. And uh, see you until next time guys.